Man, I want a cool hat too. <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I want to talk about who you should pick between Black Swan, Oracle, Acheron, or Aventurine. Because depending on who you have or what you don't have, they all like range from like a must pull range. Because the new lineup of Penny Kona characters are legit insanely valuable for your account. So I just want to talk about each of them and tell you who you should go for independent on what you need or what you want or a general recommendation in my humble opinion because at the end of the day, who doesn't love here in my opinion, right? <laughs> so let's talk about them, shall we? <laughs> so off rip, we have Black Swan, a weird healthy character. And depending on a few things, he can either be one of the best pickup for your account or like a whatever pickup for your account. Like if you're a Kafka main, without a shadow of a doubt, Black Swan is basically like a must pull for you. Because you already know how powerful a DOT team is with Sample, Luca, Gwen Ipin. So you can already imagine how broken both Black Swan and Kafka are gonna be. It's gonna be messy no matter how you look at it but if you don't have kafka i would not recommend it like it can work for sure but at the same time the other character is just so much more valuable if you don't have kafka which is unfortunate to say because she's so damn hot but to be fair every single girl in pentaconi is freaking hot so what the competition there right <laughs> and up next is sparkles and she is looking to be like one of the most insane characters in the game just solely by the fact she increased the skill point cap from five to seven which sounds extremely insane. She also advances your turn and give you back skill points. Sparkle sound freaking broken. On paper, I should say. Because this sounds way too good to be true. Because for one, I know she buffs attack because legit every single harmony character buffs attack. Like she looked really promising for sure. And for like mono team and mono quantum, she will be superb in that. I get a harmony character. Everyone knows how broken harmony characters are. It's legit the best path in the game. Like going Sparkle is legit one of the most safest options you can go for for sure and like have high recommendation because for armor characters, waifu, it pretty much explains itself right? <laughs> Alright next character, Acheron. My most and one of the most anticipated characters to ever come in Penacone because for one is this game version of Raiden Mei, Raiden Shogun. Like there is so much hype around her and her kit looked promising like from the leaks I saw she looked really powerful. Instead of like a DOT team she more like a wealth in a sense which is really good and she like a DPS that benefits from debuff. And how I know that? Well for one, Dream and two, the new relic set for one look like it was meant for arc run. And also it will make no sense given she the same role as Kafka. So Archeron by default is just your standard DPS really good and gonna be very popular because for one is Acheron. Like if you already have DPS and want other crafted you can skip her but at the same time it's Acheron go get her right. <laughs> Alright, for next character is Aventurine. And I'll be honest, I think by default he's gonna have so much pull value if you don't have Blue Orchard, Fushan, Woho. Because for one, being a new limited 5 star preservation unit, you can always assume that for one, he has the ability to soul sustain like Fushan. Like, I don't know much of him, but for one, from what I've been told, he gives shields and have this RNG mechanic because he likes gambling, of course. <laughs> Like even though I'm not really that versed in adventuring kit, one thing I know for sure is if you don't have Lorcha, Fushan, or Ho Ho, and you keep dying because you don't have a unit that can keep you alive, adventuring looking really nice over there. So who you should pick really depends on a lot of stuff because for one, if you really like DOT and you're a Kafka main, Black Swan is almost a must for you. Or you want a buffer that can make you do more damage and just help you out, Sparkle will almost be a perfect option. Or you need a DPS, then Akron got your back. But at the same time, there's so much DPS in the game, it's kind of rough to recommend. But if you need one, Akron is the way to go. Or you need a character that can soul sustain, or if you're lacking sustain on your account, adventuring looking really nice over there. 
but if you are a brand new player to this game and want to know who to go for, what I would recommend for you if you are a brand new player for one Black Swan is dead last, sorry but not sorry, <laughs> then at third place would be Archeron because for one she's a DPS that can help you out for sure. The reason she's not higher because for one she's a DPS. There will be other DPS coming out. And for third place I got Aventurine, he'll just keep your team alive. And for this place is obviously Sparkle because for one Harmony just broke like it pretty self explanatory about sparkles but those are just general recommendation if you want those characters even though they're low you can go for it especially if they're your waifu or husbando if they're your favorite character go for them don't let anything i say persuade you but also i kind of effed up a bit i forgot to talk about genuine and by Batilune. like damn <laughs> Alright, let me fix that real quick. Both in Bipeter Lune and Genuine are DPS. In Bipeter Lune is from Destruction, Genuine from Erudition. And Genuine has gotten better over time with the help of Topaz, Fushan, the new relic set. He definitely got him better, but I would not recommend you pull him unless you like him. But if you decide to go for Genuine, you will have no regrets. And if you're a new player, I'll put Genuine over Black Swan. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and for the Imbibiter himself, he is still a very strong DPS. No matter how people say it, for one, he is by far one of the better DPS to go for because for one, how the content favors destruction and also how much imaginary weak enemies are there. Like the point is, Imbibiter Lune is still very strong. I'll put him above Genuine. So Black Swan last, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Genuine, Imbibiter Lune, Acheron because I do think Acheron will kind of be stronger because of Lori reason but that kind of a bias reason so you can kind of interchange the two of them aventuring in second and sparkle still in first place so i remedy that so thank god right <laughs> And yeah, that's about it because with all that said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. So thanks for watching, I do appreciate you for sure. Let me know what I should do next and let me know what you guys think what I have to say. You agree with me or you disagree? Let me know down below cause at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you. Meh, I probably might kill you but at the same time, tell, comment, anyways, put out all that stuff. But anyway, final thoughts is, just pick whoever the hell you want, your waifu, husband, though. I don't really care because for me, I just want my girl Acheron and I'll be a happy boy for sure. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post daily videos every single day and also follow me on Twitter or X or whatever the hell you want to call it. And with all that said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Nostalgia vibe. That's your bitch ass look.